Observatory has done a lot for astrotourism in the high country, from the discovery of Pluto to helping establish the first international dark sky city. But with the upcoming opening of their new astronomy discovery center, their hope is to connect more people with the stars. Seeing the Milky Way for the very first time, this will be in many ways literally a life-changing facility. The Marley Foundation Astronomy Discovery Center officially opens November 16th. The talks about expansion have been going on for over a decade. It was becoming more and more popular. A visitor center that was designed to hold 60 or 70,000 70, visitors, we are getting more than 100. The new building is three stories tall, 400,000 square feet, and costs over $53 million. Large chunks were raised through fundraising. Lowell historian Kevin Schindler says every penny was worth it. We want to inspire people around the world. You don't have to have a PhD in astronomy or physics to enjoy the universe and get connected with the universe. New attractions include a two-story, 160-degree theater screen, rooftop dark sky planetarium, and a curiosity zone for children. child can come back an unlimited number of times and have a different outcome every time. Something outreach manager Samantha Christensen is especially excited for. And I started coming to Lowell when I was probably about five. And I can remember the first time looking through the Clark telescope and and that proved to be like a, an inflection point in my life. According to the observatory, astrotourism over the next decade is expected to bring in $5.8 billion for the Colorado Plateau, which includes the northern part of Arizona, and create tens of thousands of jobs over the next 10 years. You know, Lowell was founded in 1894, which is 18 years before Arizona was even a state. So Lowell and Flagstaff and Arizona, we grew up together. It's all of us were in the community working together um, to provide a great experience for those who live here, um, for those who are visiting from around the world. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's family.